You have an opportunity right now that you won't have a few years from now. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Your family are counting on you to study hard. Your friends are counting on you to study hard. And maybe you don't realize it yet, but your future self is counting on you to study hard. And the goal is not to keep studying until you're content. The idea is not to keep studying until you become satisfied with your grades. You should never be satisfied. You should always be striving for better. Because the day you become content with your grades, that's the day that you stop evaluating yourself. That's the day you stop growing. That's the day that the person trying to catch you will catch you. You have to take advantage of the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that you have right now. You don't have to be the most talented or the wisest or the smartest or the wealthiest. You don't have to be the most intelligent to get to the top. But you got to study. You have to outstudy everyone. Your classmates might come from money. They might have parents that own businesses. They might know people and are able to get them a job. But they will not outstudy you. And what you have to do is make a decision that no matter how privileged or talented anyone else is in your class, you're going to outstudy them. But how do you outstudy everyone else in your class? I'll leave you with the words of Eric Thomas. I've looked at the most successful people in the world and I realized that they have seven or eight similar things in common. And one of the things they all had in common was that they all had a routine. They are obsessed with routine. They don't have a gap of wasted time in their routine. They don't grind until 6 p.m. and then play video games for the rest of the night. They're not scrolling mindlessly through Instagram for hours a day. They don't have time. That's a poverty mindset. Successful people don't waste time. They don't watch TV. They don't do a lot of entertainment. If they're not working, then they're studying or getting better at their craft. So what you have to decide is, do you want to be in the 99% or the 1%? And you'll only join the 1% when you start thinking like the 1%, working like the 1%, walking like the 1%. How you prioritize your studying over the next 365 days will significantly alter the journey you're on and whether you make it into the 1% club. Aristotle said you are what you repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence ought to be a habit not an act. Don't ever forget that. As Coach Jay said, I'm not your coach right now. I'm your conscience. You're in a fight between will and skill. I say will first because that's where you are. You're locked and loaded with skill. You're studying every day. You're putting in your work. You're buying everything. Your books, pins, notepads. You're making the investment. You're living your dream. You're walking like your dream. You're surrounding yourself with your dream. You're studying until late at night and waking up early to do it all over again. You've put your work in. You've got your skill. And now it's the test of your will. It's a mindset thing you're in right now. It's a mindset thing. Because your challenge isn't moving. Your mountain is not moving. You don't feel like you're making any progress. You're not physically moving when you see everything else around you and other people around you moving. You're not making progress. You're in a test of your will right now because life says it has a little more test for you. It's no different because you messed up. Because you fell off the wagon, because you failed an exam, two exams, three exams, you gave up on your studying, you dropped out last year, and you really want your dream to happen, and you're putting in your work, and nothing's happening yet. This is our moment, ladies and gentlemen. This, right here, is our moment, guys. You've all got to think about that just for a minute. This, right here, this moment right here, this is our moment to where we make what we have been dreaming of into reality. The exams you have coming, it all starts in your mind. 
You've got to fall back on everything that you've learned, everything that you've prepared for, every hour you've spent studying for it. You've prepared well for this. Dreams can become buried under discouragement, buried under past mistakes. There are dreams buried under failed exams, buried under low self-esteem. It's easy to settle for average grades, even though you have all this potential buried on the inside. All of us have things that we're believing for, something we want to accomplish. Deep down, we know it's a part of our destiny. We can feel it so strongly, but then we hit some setbacks. We didn't pass the exam. Our results weren't good enough. If you do your part and start believing again, get your passion back. It's on the way. Go back and try again. The true mark of a champion is even though some dirt gets thrown on your dream, instead of letting it get buried, you keep shaking it off. You keep moving forward. You keep looking for new opportunities. Anda terus mengabaikannya, Anda terus bergerak maju, Anda terus mencari peluang baru.